Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome back to Buster's Corner. Uh, today's little project, we're making a jig in the shop to allow us to cut the 45 degree angle pieces we need for picture frames so we can do the same one over and over again accurately. Okay? It's very important to get those accurate. So this is what it looks like when I'm all done. It's just a piece of 1x3 uh, with a 45 degree angle cut into it and a little block like this that goes on top of this and it slides back and forth. Is that easy or what? Look at that. Okay. So I'm going to cut up a couple of pieces here. We're going to nail them together. This piece up here is just an old piece of uh, scrap I had in the shop. All right, so I'm just going to knock it out real quick for you. Here we go. I'm going to make this one. Uh, this is going to be, oh, I'm going to go 12 inches. Six inches. I've got one of those. And I want this one to be. This is only a couple inches. A couple inches. I'm gonna go two and a half. I'm gonna turn that on first here. Yeah. All right. So I got my six-inch piece looking like this. We're gonna nail that onto there. Okay, do that and that. And then I need a piece of scrap for the top. And oh, look at that. I found a piece. And this is going to be, oh, I don't know. Let me make it here. Four inches. Okay, so I got this piece, this piece, this piece. Now, First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our block that we cut and we're going to drop this to a 45. Okay. Right there. We're going to put that, we're going to cut that 45 right there. Follow me this way. Let's go over here. Got my nail gun here. So I'm just going to put these two together here like this. Right. Watch out for the fingers. Okay. Then this. Put them on top of here. So, okay, so we run to the table, we staple those together, and I'm going to bring these back over here. And you see this sets onto here, and this slides on there nice and low. Okay? So, now, at this point, what I did was I took a small block of wood, and I put it up against my backboard, it's already been cut to my 45, and I took my marked markings over here on this side. So when I kind of put this board back in again later, these markings should line up and my board should line up with my blade. Okay? And you kind of check it here, bring your blade down. Okay. That's not that big. That's not that big of a deal if I cut that off a little bit. So then, so I got my okay, I got all this set up. I took another piece of, of this pine and I made this jig flat on one side, 45 on this side. And this measures out 10 and a quarter inches. Okay, 10 and a quarter inches. So when I set everything up again, okay, I put this in, this lines up that, these lines up right here. And now I can take this jig, make me flush here on my 45 side, bring my stop into here, and take out my handy dandy clamp.
which I left over, which I left over there. Okay. So there's a slush here. Right, that goes there. Clamp this down. Okay. There's my block. Okay. So when you start your project, you come in with a fresh board. Okay. The first thing you're going to do. You go up here, and you're going to cut that at a 45. Okay, cut off the end. All right. When you cut off the end, you're left looking like this. This goes over to here, measures out to 10 and a half. Make that cut. Make your second cut here. Take it off. Measure it. Okay. If you need to, you can adjust your block back or forth. Okay. Once you get the first one set, you're good. You can make repetitious parts over and over again. Okay. That's the jig. Let me see, I got the one for eight and a quarter and the one two, one two and a quarter for the frames. So I'm this block right here so we can take it all apart. Okay, and I marked a one, I marked three different marks on here, three inch, four inch, five inch. So I got you know some new way. Anywho, that's my jig for making picture frames. Alright, that's it from Buster's Corner. Thanks for subscribing. Have a nice day.